my name is Cheyenne, and I work as a science teacher. I teach chemistry, honors, and general. I teach dual enrollment anatomy and physiology. My typical day is anything but typical. I teach different subjects, so I have different students on different days. Our school does a block system, so we have odd even days. We don't have the same kids on the same days. Um, but my duties would include lecturing, giving tests, setting up labs, prepping chemicals, administering the labs, making sure the students are adhering to the safety rules, um, giving assessments other than tests such as projects, listening to students give their projects and presentations, um, and dealing with student issues. I would say I typically work eight hours a day, 40 hours a week. We get about 90 minutes of planning each day. So I find that I can do most of my planning here at school and very rarely have to take homework home. My stress level is medium. Uh, it depends on the day. If it's toward a standardized test, our stress goes up. If we're doing projects, the stress goes down because they're really a lot of fun and the kids really get into them. So it really depends on what we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. The requirements for working as a teacher are generally a bachelor's degree in some sort of subject that you're going to teach. Typically, people can also get a degree in education, but it's not required. Um, I don't have a degree in education. I have a degree in biology with a minor in chemistry and then coursework additional to qualify me to work in um, education. You can get that coursework as graduate or you can get that coursework as an undergraduate. You'll have to then go through a state certification program for your state where you take a general knowledge test and then a subject area test in whichever subject you would like to be certified for. Teachers can be certified in more one subject or more than one subject. One thing I didn't expect was how easy it was to get a job as a science teacher. Science and math teachers and foreign language are really um, low in numbers and it's it's very easy to get a job out there. Um, history, social studies, and language, art, language arts, it, the field is kind of flooded, so it's a little bit more competitive. The best part of my job is when I can get a student to love science as much as I do and to not be afraid of it. Students are really, they come in with preconceived notions about science and math that it, they just can't do it or it's too hard for them or they can't understand it. So when they can understand it and when they do have fun doing a project or a lab and they're really like, hey, I kind of like science class, that's the best part of my job. The worst part of my job is when students don't care. They're either too tired or they get overwhelmed and they don't do their assignments. They don't even make an effort. They just come in and put their head down. It's hard for me to continually motivate them and bring myself to have the motivation day after day to pour into them. That's the hardest part. It's emotionally draining. I would say be prepared to be unwealthy and to really want to go to your job, not because you're getting paid a lot of money to go there. Also be prepared for highs and lows. Some days are really fun and really motivating and engaging and some days are really draining and stressful and tiring. So it's kind of an emotional roller coaster where it can be really great and then really not. So just be prepared. It's not your mundane, average, same thing, everyday job. I would advise you to teach something that you really, really love because regardless of the subject, you're going to get sick of it after seven, eight years, 10 years, 20 years of teaching it day after day. So if it doesn't start by being something you absolutely are passionate about and love, then the students are going to know that you're bored. The other thing is that I would suggest working with kids of that age. If you think you want to do elementary, work with elementary kids. If you think you want to do middle, work with middle kids. High school, same thing. They're so different in their range um, that you really need to get a touch of what it feels like to be with them all day and kind of see what animals they are.